Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Locke's video for September 13th, 2017. Today we are studying measuring angles using a protractor, as well as drawing angles using a protractor, and some new vocabulary words. I'm actually going to link you to a colleagues and friends video that does a really nice explanation of explaining how to measure and draw angles using a protractor. Let's take a look at a bit of vocabulary. Today we made a little vocabulary booklet in class. The, the booklet included the term, the, a picture representing the term, the definition of the term, and an example or non-example of each term. Let's look at each term together. One of those terms was congruent. One of those words is the word congruent. Now, congruent simply means same size and same shape. In the context of angles, it means the angle measure is the same. For example, if angle one measures 30 degrees, then angle two also must equal 30 degrees. In the context of triangles, the length of each side of this triangle must be the, match the length of, length of the sides of this triangle. The notation, we write an equal sign with a small squiggly mark above it is the notation. For example, this notation says that angle one is congruent to angle two. Let's talk about midpoint. Midpoint is a point that divides a segment in half. Midpoint, the key word to relate it to is halfway. If you look at this picture, you ever heard of the expression half class empty or half class full kind of person? Well, look at this glass, it's halfway full. That's a good example of a midpoint. A segment bisector, think about a bicycle, how many tires does it have? It has two. Likewise, a segment bisector divides a segment into two pieces that have the same length. The definition, it's a line, line segment, ray, or plane that cuts a line segment exactly in half. An angle bisector is a line, line segment, or ray that cuts an angle exactly in half. Notice that these little two marks inside the angle, well, what these two little marks means is that this angle measures the same as the other angle that has two marks by it. For example, if this angle measures 25 degrees, then the other angle that has two marks must also equal 25 degrees. Take a look at the non-example. Notice that the dashed line does not divide the angle into two equal measured pieces. So this is not an angle bisector because it does not divide it into two equal pieces. Let's talk about perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect at a right angle. Take a look at this soccer goal. If you look at this top goal post into the right side goal post, it actually forms a right angle. There is an example of perpendicular lines. Now, if you look at this plaid pattern, we have a vertical line here, a horizontal line here. That's another example of a 90 degree or perpendicular angle. Now, check out this little box that's indicated on the drawing. That indicates a right or 90 degree angle. Taking a look at perpendicular bisector, it's a line perpendicular to and passing through the midpoint. That's the key information. A perpendicular bisector always passes through the midpoint. The midpoint is exactly in the middle. So for example, here, this perpendicular bisector divides this segment into two equal length parts. For example, if this side of the segment measures five inches, then the other side might must also equal five inches in length. Here's a non-example. Again, the reason it's a non-example is because it does not, this bisector does not divide the segment into two equal parts. In addition, it's not perpendicular either. Notice it does not form a right angle. It actually makes some other angle, therefore it's not perpendicular. Taking a look at parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that never intersect, even if you tied, if you tied one rope around the moon and then tied another rope around the moon and took it all the way back to Earth. If they were parallel, they would never intersect. Take a look at this example, railroad tracks. 
Now, I understand this is not a perfect example of a line because it does not go on forever. However, these two tracks will never intersect, and I think it's a good explanation of parallel lines. Finally, here's a little warm-up problem we did. If you would take a look at it, try solving this problem. If you have difficulty, please let me know. Thanks for watching this short video. I'm going to put a link in this video to Mr. Gonzalez's video for you guys to watch regarding measuring angles using a protractor. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful.